Uh, this is going to be my last response to Stefan Molyneux for a while because I'm sure what, what fans I do have are like, move on, please. But I actually find this issue to be really, really important. I don't, I don't think he's going to actually answer it, but I, I think the argument is pretty important to get out there. Stefan Molyneux has this uh, video out there. It's an older one, so this isn't exactly timely, where he's talking about mental health, and he talks about like the... Uh, the different attitudes we have towards mental health, and one of the main things he does is he takes a stance and really is suspicious of uh, medications, antidepressants like Zoloft and uh, what's the Xanax and all those things. Now, what what Molyneux basically does is he puts out a lot of information about these types of drugs and what's happened since they've been introduced. And one of his main points is that diagnoses of the types of conditions, you know, depression, um, which is obviously the main thing that antidepressant is supposed to treat, uh, have risen as the use of these drugs has permeated. The more these SSRIs, the more, I think they're SSRIs, so selective serotonin reuptake inhibitor, I think. Um, as these drugs permeate, more and more people are being diagnosed with depression and more and more people are wrestling with it. His main point, and I'm hoping that most of you guys will understand why this bothers me as I kind of draw this out, um, he, he says that if we're medicating this condition more and more, if more and more drugs are being injected into the system, why are more people becoming depressed? Why are more people being diagnosed with it? Why isn't it going away if we're treating it? I find this logic to be very, very dangerous. First off, I'm not arguing with Molyneux on the point that a lot of these drugs are prescribed when they shouldn't be. That's true. There is too much medication in the system that I believe. And I'm not speaking about this as some idiot in an armchair, just kind of like, you know, pontificating, oh yeah, they're prescribing too much Zoloft. I'm on Zoloft. I had a nervous breakdown. I threatened to set myself on fire in the parking lot of my workplace. I mean, that's how bad it got for me. And one of the first things that happened when I went in the hospital was they fiddled around with my medication. Um, here's the thing. When Molyneux talks about medication and universally maligns it, he's... He's really, really being irresponsible. And the main point that I want to make in this video is to say this. To do a correlation between the prescriptions of antidepressants and to say why isn't it going away the more we're prescribing the drugs. Depression is not polio, right? It's not a communicable disease. It's not Ebola. It's not the common cold. It's based on some type of dysfunction that's going on in your brain. I mean, is it chemical? I don't know. Is it a learned behavior? Is it like something that can be solved with behavioral therapy? I don't know. I can't make a lot of those pronouncements. But I can tell you that medication has helped me. And for me, medication is something that helps you get to the point where you can address the behavioral issues. It should be, you know, closely monitored and you should listen to your doctor and you should go to therapy and you should work through these issues, you know? There's a lot of nuance that comes to mental health and taking responsibility for your mental health and you shouldn't just rely on your medication. You need to control it and you need to, you know, coordinate with medical professionals who are actually invested in your care. But to universally malign SSRIs and to actually just say it's making it worse, we're do what he is what he's doing, I'm afraid, is putting a stigma on people who are on these medications. And there are a lot of people like me who ended up in a really, really bad place that needed that medication. And it helped me negotiate the mental pitfalls that I was falling into. So, I take a huge, huge, huge offense when something that was so important for me turned out to be so vital, and it's based on logic that is, in my opinion, flawed at its very core. Um, I'm sure there are a lot of people out there who have had similar experiences, and again, yes, absolutely, there's so much over-medication out there, but... It's, it's much more complicated the issue than that, to universally malign medication and 
to, you know, put it all as this big boogeyman that's coming to eat you, very irresponsible. And I'm no expert on mental health, and but I still, you know, I'm going to assume a lot of authority to jump into this conversation to say, you know, do a little more research and think about your facts a little bit more before you go touting an issue that's so easily refuted. I still love you, Stefan. I still want to have a beer with you sometime, buddy. 